Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing Jira Service Management versus ServiceNow. Which one's better for you and your team? Well, let's find out in this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And before we jump into today's video, a quick word from our sponsor. Do you get many customer requests in various languages that your agents simply don't speak? Then Language Translator by our friends at Resolution is the perfect app for you. It allows you to leave a great impression on your customers without having to hire everybody to cover all the different languages. Check it out in the marketplace. Oh, and because you're watching this video and Resolution is so awesome and sponsoring this video, there's a special 20% discount in the link in the description below. Now let's jump back into our comparison. Now, I'm gonna be covering five different things for this comparison. We're gonna be talking about price, we're gonna be talking about ease of use, integrations with Jura, how do we handle free users, and most importantly, plugins and extensibility. And in order to make this review as objective as possible, I'm also gonna fold in sources from Gartner, from Contengix, and from Atlassian themselves. But first, let's talk about price because I wanted to address this as this is probably the most important factor in my opinion when it comes to choosing a tool. In Jira, we actually have a very transparent price. Jira Service Management has a very easy to understand pricing. It's basically free or you have two tiers, a standard or a premium. All of this information, very, very transparent, very easy to understand, very easy for you as an end user to multiply and figure out what is it gonna cost for you and your organization. ServiceNow, on the other hand, I tried to get some information, but you're immediately hit what they sign up for. So you have to go submit a request and somebody from their sales team is gonna get a hold of you, which leads me to believe that this is not an easy thing to get going. So it also makes me feel like this is gonna be a very, very expensive tool to even test out. The beautiful thing about Jira Service Management is that it's actually free for up to three users. So anybody can go and set up JSM completely for free without having to actually pay anything. And so you can try out pretty much almost everything. Not every functionality is enabled, but you can try out a lot of different things and you can get your workflow going all for free. Versus on ServiceNow, I am still currently at the mercy of somebody reaching out to me just to even see if I can get a free version just to evaluate it. Because I really don't know if ServiceNow is gonna be a good product for me. And they make it really, really challenging for somebody new to enter the space, to get information, to make discoveries. Very, very challenging. So not winning in that department. Now let's talk about ease of use. Being able to use a tool is very, very important. When I am filling out a form and I'm putting on my hat of being a customer or an end user, I want this process to be as seamless as possible because I ultimately want to give the information to the vendor, right? If I'm the customer, I wanna just not have to jump through hurdles. I don't want to have to figure out, I don't want a map to figure out how do I get the right request to the right team. I just wanna be able to get in, express my concern, my frustration, my problem and get out. And with Jira Service Management, portals are so easy. You can create custom portals for different teams. You can create a unique URL that sends your customers directly to the right place. You can embed these URLs on websites and basically allow anybody anywhere in the world to be able to submit a request for you. And on the service now, while I still don't have access to it, I have had the pleasure of using ServiceNow. Now, as you can tell by now, I'm not very keen on ServiceNow. It's not one of the coolest tools in the world. And being a user, being somebody that has had to submit requests with ServiceNow, let me tell you, it is the most daunting experience in the world. Never. I, I, in fact, I will boldly say that I'd rather not raise a request simply because I just don't even know how to raise a request. It is this endless loop of just like trying to figure out where it goes to, which team it's gonna to go to, so many fields I gotta select, so many different dynamic options based on the previous option. I don't know what any of the options are. All I know at the end of the day is that I need a little bit of help. And let me tell you that it is so, so hard to understand and figure out how to successfully submit a request in ServiceNow. 
Now let's talk about integrations with Jira. I think this is really, really important. A lot of people do software development and do their tracking inside of Jira. And ServiceNow is a great portal to the outside world, to your customer base, to your internal help desk if you want, but it's not integrated with Jira at all. Sure, you can do some sort of an API call. Sure, you can use a, a plugin and we are going to be reviewing one of these plugins in the very near future assuming again fingers crossed that i can get my hands on service now and it's just not something that's built into the architecture you're changing from a service now interface over to to jira or to one of your other project management tools versus with jira service management you're inside of jira to the naked eye to the untrained eye you wouldn't know if you're inside of jira software or jira service management obviously there's some subtle hints that do tell you but the learning curve for your team is if they're already learning or using Jira software, integrating with Jira service management is easy. Any request that comes in with JSM, the automation rules can work so that you can sync your Jira software issues with your JSM. You can move them over. You can bring them over to your Jira software. So you have a lot of flexibility there and none of your team needs to learn a honing system. You don't have to have two sources of truth. It's all contained in one beautiful location. With Jira Service Management and with ServiceNow, you also get basically the ability to have anybody use your system, your tool to be able to submit requests. So this is an equal point to everybody because there's not going to be restrictions. There's not going to be a lot of uphill battles on who can submit or who can utilize your portal. So this is really, really good points for both of them. And then finally, plugins and extensibility. ServiceNow is its own proprietary system. It does have a developer environment and it does have ability to develop and create extensions for ServiceNow, but it's not as robust and as well thought out as the Atlassian Marketplace. As you've heard from our channel sponsor, there are plugins that are dedicated just for JSM that further extend the power of Jira Service Management. And remember, if your agents need to converse with customers in a different language that is not native to them, the translation app by resolution is gonna make everybody's lives easier. And it's not just about translations. You can build queues and you can even build some automations so that your Spanish customers always go to your Spanish team. Make sure you check out the link in the description for your 20% off. Let's get back to this video. Now in order to make things a little bit less subjective, let's review some of the points here that I wanted to talk about. So we talked about price, we talked about ease of use. One thing that we haven't talked about is really how easy is it to get this thing going? And this bucket, this item right here is really, really interesting to me. Jira service management on average takes under six months. In fact, I can go as bold as saying that most of the Jira service managements that I stand up are usually a two to three to maybe four week engagement, depending on the level of customization that you want. Now, here for ServiceNow, Atlassian has it marked as an X. In another statistic that I also saw, it, they say that basically it takes about six months, if not more, for a ServiceNow implementation. I don't know about you, but that is a really, really long time. Now, because I want to be fair, because I want to make sure that this is balanced, I'm actually looking at a ServiceNow article where they're comparing Jira Service Management versus ServiceNow. Their qualifications are very interesting. Their purpose-built ITSM from the start. I'm not really sure if this is a benefit. Jira Service Management is, is not Jira software. So to me, Jira Service Management is really an ITSM tool. At least it is today. Maybe it wasn't like years ago, but right now Jira Service Management is an ITSM solution. It's designed for enterprise unlike other tools. Again, I'm not really sure where they're pulling this from, but Jira Service Management is basically an augmented or slightly variant of Jira software, which is an enterprise tool. So Jira service management is going to be able to support everything you throw at it. They very recently like up their agents to like 10,000 agents. So it's going to be able to handle almost any enterprise environment. It's a complete ITSM solution that doesn't come with hidden costs. This part I'm interested in this. I like because one of the gotchas of Jira service management is that like all the other Atlassian tools, Atlassian, if you're using any Atlassian um, uh, tool like Jira or Confluence or even Jira, Jira service management, you know that there's a marketplace and you know that you can intentionally and cognitively buy these plugins. So there's not a hidden cost. It's an extra cost, yeah, but it's not gonna be a hidden cost. So I'm not gonna honor this one here. 
It's a single cloud platform with a single code base. This I don't understand either. Jira Service Management is its own product and it's going to have its own single code base as well. So I'm not really sure why this would be a beneficial thing and extends IT innovation behind beyond the help desk. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying this one either. Jira Service Management talks with Jira software. It talks with your Bitbucket. It has Ops Genie. It has alerts. It has asset management. It has everything else that you need to go way beyond just the IT help desk. So I'm not none of these reasons that ServiceNow here is saying that they're better is would be a reason for me to actually want to use ServiceNow. So at the end of the day, I know this comparison is very, very biased towards Jira Service Management, but it really honestly is a, the better tool. It is, it is a significantly better tool. I get to use both tools and I would, I hands down prefer Jira Service Management. It is just such an easier tool to use. It is something that you're going to be able to set and forget. It's something that your customers are going to have an easy time understanding. And more and more companies are using JSM. So they're going to become familiar with the portal and the way to submit requests. Almost all the Atlassian Place Marketplace vendors use JSM to also help troubleshoot and, and get help and support. And so, and Atlassian themselves use JSM. They eat their own dog food. And so JSM is really, really a, a great tool. I highly recommend you check it out, especially when you have to compare even at the pricing level, right? Because the pricing is unknown. Like how do you make a decision about something you can't even see? And in order to even get the price, you got to jump through these hoops. That for me right there is the immediate deal breaker because in a matter of hours, if not weeks, I can get JSM running pretty well. And with ServiceNow, I honestly don't think I can say the same thing. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy this video and this comparison, let me know in the comment section below. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is part of the 10,000 subscriber journey that we're on with the Summer of Atlassian 2.0. So your subscription, every subscription counts. Make sure you share this video with everybody. And finally, before we close out, a message from our sponsor. Getting tickets in various different languages, no problem. With language translation for JSM by resolution, your agents will be able to converse with your customers like if they were talking in their own native language. Simply install Language Translator from the Atlassian Marketplace and set up your default language. And again, don't forget that down below, my good friends over at Resolution have provided us with a discount code. Take advantage of that discount code and link in the description below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need